Okay, so uh, back again with the WE Desert Eagle. I'm just going to do a quick video of uh, putting in a maple leaf hot rubber, which, in my experience in using, I think these maple leaves are brilliant, both the AEG versions and uh, GBBR or GBB pistol versions. They're just, they're just great. They work miles better than any others. Uh, so let's crack on. It's pretty straightforward. The development TM mag uh, works quite well. We'll see that in another video. Pop the barrel out. It's pretty straightforward to disassemble with the WE. I'm just going to pop this pin out. That's uh, to be put into is the, uh, the airsoft engineerity uh, barrel bushing that gives stabilisation. I'll put a link to the clip uh, in this video because um, without it, there's a significant amount of front end barrel wobble, which is a real shame. We'll just pop pop the hot unit apart. There we go. A couple of screws. There we go. notice, I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but I've put a little bit of black insulation tape around here. Just helps with, uh, you get this, it's just annoying, me being a bit petty maybe, you get an annoying metallic clank of the back end of the hot unit against this barrel, uh, outer barrel, so I just, a bit of that just stops that happening. Anyway, so I've popped the barrel out, see it's a standard, standard hot rubber. Pop that one out. Covered in, yeah, covered in oil and grease from the factory. Just like, prolongs the life of the rubber while it's on the shops, on the shelf, but doesn't make the hot work very well. So it's quite an interesting unit. This one. It's got a, uh, a hex screw, which pushes against this cam here. Uh, and pushes down on a on a hot you know, uh, onto the rubber, so that's quite quite nice that actually. Um, I mean the recoil on this gun's fierce, so it's quite good that they've done a mechanism like this because it's, it's even got you can see the little rubber rubber thing there. I'll put a bit of friction on this so it doesn't wind itself off again. That's well designed uh, and good thinking, given the fierce recoil. It could quite easily if it was like a, a 1911 type hot unit uh, you know it could move with the, the amount of recoil so I really like that it's a good design let's grab this maple leaf hot rubber there we go. And this is a 70 degree hot rubber so that's probably about right for this pistol um, 60 or 50 would be a bit soft and 75, 80 you're getting into sort of 450 to 500 FPS sniper rifle territory for that so this, this given this pistol a little bit pokey uh, I'll chrono it another day that, that feels about right so I'll just pop that onto there there we go lovely jubbly that's good now it does come with this metal clip. Uh, I think it's supposed to give it a bit of stabilisation on the on the hot rubber. Um, 
I'll put it on. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. And on some guns, you actually it, it won't go in the hot unit with the clip on. But we'll put it on here and see if it'll go back in. Let's push the clip on. There we go. Just keeps the helps keep the shape of the rubber when the loading nozzle goes in. Let's put that in there and see if that's anywhere. Oh yeah, it goes in nicely. Now the other thing, this hot in here. If you hop out, I'm just going to pop that out. Uh, um, maple leaf hot rubbers. It's going to be very difficult to show on the camera, uh, but I'll try. I'll try. Might get it. No, I'll leave it on. It's on now. It's on nicely. The hot patch inside the rubber. If, that, if that's the if that's the rubber like that, the, the hot patch is actually curved. Uh, so you're really supposed to use one of these hot tensioners uh, with the maple leaf rubber to ensure it puts the right uh, pressure patch on for the hot rubber. So, in fact, we just pop this out and I'll bring these up to the camera. You might be able to see there that it's got it's got a curved profile to it. That's to match the contact patch in the hot rubber so it applies the right pressure. Just put the normal rubber in, it won't apply the correct uh, pressure and keep the right shape of the hot patch. I'm going to pop that in. Put the arm back. And let's get this the right way around. There we go. There we go, we've got the hot rubber in there with the right tensioner and even the metal clip. Now the only thing that might concern me and I might have to take apart is the brass barrel, the window on the brass barrel might not quite be big enough, um, but I'll put it back together. Simply a case of just that. There we go. Tighten up the screws. I'm going to torque that one up. So that was just, you know, top tip. Most you probably know this already. Screwing things up. Never fully torque the first screw down. You know, it's a bit like doing head gaskets on cars. You go diagonally to put even pressure and everything. So I'm going to now torque that one up. And now torque that one up. And this sort of metal, this, uh, I don't know, zinc. This is, I don't think this is aluminium. It's like zinc cast metal. It doesn't take a lot to strip it. You don't really need to put much force on these screws. You just want to nip them up. And if you're worried about them coming undone, then a bit of thread lock. Uh, it works works wonders really. Don't use super glue to, unless you never want to take it apart again, or you're not bothered about having to drill the screws out. Um, it just super glue is just not a good idea. Right, so we'll just get an Allen key and give that a bit of a turn. I can get the right Allen key. Not too big. Brilliant. Uh, that's a bit exact.
exaggerated, but you might be able to see the hop unit there and the contact patch. So that's it, it's as simple as that. You put the barrel stabilising brush back in. The easy way to do these is to drop them like that. Um, take a pen and just push it down to the bottom as far as it'll go, like that. Inner barrels run back in. Make sure you square up the front with the rubber bushing. Slide it in. Brilliant. And then hammer this mill pin back in. Which uh, needs a couple of taps just to secure it. with a video showing what kind of range that gives but I'm sure it'll be way better than this factory standard WE rubber which isn't bad to be fair but it's just not as good as a maple leaf and you know the fact it comes coated with silicon oil just means you have to put lots of shots through it or take it apart and dry it all out and clean it up before it's even going to do anything okay enjoy like and subscribe if you want to see more Remember, a full disassembly and comparison of the uh, WE and TM pistols is on its way. And a video of using TM mags with the Airsoft Ingenuity mag uh, adapters uh, will be on its way too. Obviously this is a prototype because there's no feed lips, but we've just been testing the gas router interface. And it works great. As you can see, there it is. Bye for now.